What's good, YouTube? It's ARLR32 here with the Seal of Void Calcos. <laughs> Uh, but I am bringing you guys a new deck profile. I've been trying to post every day, as you can tell from my channel. Um, I don't think I'm going to be posting for the next few days because tomorrow's my birthday. So if you guys wouldn't mind uh, making my birthday great by liking this video and saving it to your favorites. And, you know, if you want in the comments, just say happy birthday and that would make my day really, really great. Um, but yeah, so Vexcus4666 showed this on his YouTube channel. I made a few changes to it that I felt fit. Um, I've been kind of messing around with the extra deck. Um, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis is getting reprinted, but um, I might take that out. I'm not sure yet. Um, I've been messing around with the deck here and there, but I've been trying to get up a, a video every day. So I figured I would show this to you guys. Um, first, you have the five pieces of Exodia. Uh, it's an it's a Dark World Exodia deck for a reason, and that is of course the name of this deck, Dark World Exodia. Uh, you use two Malefic Stardust Dragon uh, to help protect your field spell, and you also use Advanced Draw, so you can sack it off and draw two free cards. Two Beige, three Brow, and three Grappa, and three Snow. That's your monster lineup. So, basic Dark World Engine um, to help you get to your piece of Exodia. The whole deck is meant to just draw through it until you get the piece of Exodia. Spells, one Allure, one Card Destruction, two Dark Eruption. Uh, one Dark Factor Mass Protection. These three spells help you all get your pieces of Exodia back from the graveyard in case you pitch them with Card Destruction or Dark World Dealings, which you run three of. You also use three One Day of Peace because in case you run out of draw power, you can just use a One Day of Peace to get a free draw. And if you end up drawing to another One Day of Peace, just use it, draw another card, and then your opponent can't do any damage to you. Three Gates of Dark World, necessary in any kind of Dark World deck, whether it be Exodia or not. Three trade in because you can discard your dead Graphas and dead Malefic Stardust Dragons and get two free draws. Upstart Goblin, you really don't care about your opponent gaining life points since it's a free plus one. And three advanced draw, you trade a face up level eight monster like Graph or Malefic Stardust to draw two free cards. So an essential play could be Dark World Dealings, draw, discard beige, bounce back beige for Grapha, activate advanced draw, draw two free cards, and you rinse and repeat. Um, for the extra deck, two Stardust Dragon for the Malefic Stardust. Uh, one Heliopolis, Roach, two Utopia, Utopia Ray, Leviathan, Levier, Zen Mains, Maze Stroke, Ten Tempo, and uh, Missouri Fem, the String Digin. Uh, just some staple XYZs that you can possibly go into um, with your monster lineup. Uh, you could also use Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which I love. It's so good and so, so broken. Um, in case you don't know what it does, just look it up. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. It's a level. Uh, it's a rank 8, I was about to say level. <laughs> it's a rank 8 exceed, takes 3 level 8 monsters, but it's so good. So, so, so good. I love it. Uh, 4,500 attack, 3,000 defense. Look it up. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's the end of this uh, deck profile. I know it's kind of short. Um, pretty much the whole deck is pretty standard, pretty self-explanatory. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this kind of deck profile. I think um, I've kind of figured out a schedule that I'm going to upload. I'm going to not upload on Saturday or Sunday unless there's like some Yu-Gi-Oh news that I want to get out or if there's a deck profile that I really want to show you guys. And then Monday will be, <clears throat> I'm thinking that Monday can be just a random video that I want to put up. And then Tuesday can be uh, trolling Tuesdays where I come on DN and I just use some random trolling deck like this deck or self-destruct button. Uh, deck profile Wednesdays I'll show off or retro I'm sorry retro deck profile Wednesdays where I'll show off retro decks and uh, I might show off my favorite retro deck that I actually built all on my own it was my first ever legit deck that I built on my own and that um, I believe that some famous people uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh community saw and tried to run it um, but I have to say I'm the expert with the deck uh, I'm not trying to sound harsh or anything, but at the time that I was running it, I felt that like I was the expert on it, and no one else could run it except for me, the best way I should say. And I actually got my first uh, tournament win, my locals tournament win with it. And um, I remember it was like a few years ago, back when Barrel from the Different Dimension was at three. So be on the lookout for that in the next day, couple days or so. And then Thursday what can be. Um, I don't know, deck profile Thursdays, I show off another deck profile, and then Friday could be, um, I don't know, just uh, a meta report, I guess, a meta analysis, what the meta is like at the current time and stuff like that, and then everything in between can be like box openings, pack openings, like stuff for the weekend or possibly, but usually I'll just be taking the weekend off. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this deck. If you did, um, 
like I said, like or a favorite, even just a comment down below telling me happy birthday would be great. Um, I'm going to be 16, so I'm really happy for that. I'm really excited. I can be able to finally go out and do what I want, be able to drive around finally. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for sticking with me for all these years. I've been been doing Yu Gi Oh since 2009. I mean, I don't even know how many videos I even have. I really never keep track. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.